What's up guys, back with a bass in here. Coming at you with another video. Today we're doing something a little different. You saw us do it last year. Uh, we're heading back out to Nebraska chasing turkeys for their early archery season. Uh, it's March 23rd right now, it's Thursday. We're heading up there right now, it's about eight o'clock. Me and Eli are leaving right now, and then Gavin, Cody, and Evan are headed up at around 11 or 12. So we're gonna get there tomorrow morning, Friday, the day before the season, get everything scouted up, and then hopefully be on them Saturday. So gonna get going now, got about a six hour drive. Uh, yeah, keep you updated. Yep. All right, guys, uh, just made the first stop. We're in Worthington, Minnesota, getting close to Sioux Falls. So we're getting pretty close, we're like two hours out right now. So filling up the truck, he was inside. That's close to midnight, or just a little earlier. The other guys are just getting packed up now. They're gonna get going. So they'll probably get in there pretty, yeah, pretty late in the morning, probably around six, six or seven. As it's getting light, so me and Eli are just gonna head down there and wait, wait in town, try to sleep for a couple hours, and then wait for them to get there, and we'll try to hopefully find some birds right away in the morning, get everything set up and whatnot. So I guess I'll see you guys when we are there next. All right, guys, we made it. It is two o'clock right now. I just woke up, but we're here. Uh, we're about half an hour from where we're going to be staying. So, we're going to try to get some sleep for a little bit. Uh, the other guys just left now. So, they're going to be here about 8 o'clock in the morning. So, we are going to try to get some sleep. And we will wake up in the morning and go try to find some birds. So, see you in the morning. Well, good morning. Um, it's like 7.30. We made it through the night. We just uh, pulled into a hotel parking lot and... Tucked their sleeping bags and actually slept for a little bit. So the other guys just made it here. We are filling up gas and we are going to finish the drive. Got a little bit longer. And so we'll see you guys at the campground and get set up and then hopefully go out and try to find some birds. A little bit more snow than we were expecting, but oh well. So we are going to go do that. See you there. Well guys, we made it. Camper's here. See there guys ended up, we were still sleeping in the car and ended up passing us in. We made it here, dropped the camper off. They're out scouting right now. They found some birds already, so. Me and Eli are gonna go look for some more. We just drove past one of the properties we got permission at last year. There's a ton of birds in it. So hopefully we're gonna go talk to them again and they will give us permission. And then we will, we'll smack a bird there tomorrow. So see you out there. Some birds, guys. A bunch of jakes down there, and a bunch sitting on the road up here. All right, guys, just made it in the camp. Everything's unloaded. No, not everything. We're most stuff's unloaded. Uh, we realized we did forget a blind, so we're gonna go purchase one of those, Blood. and then I guess we'll go from there. Gonna scout a little more, go knock on some doors, get permission, set up the rest of the blinds. I hope you can see There's the a crew. in your nose. 2023. It's <laughs> you young crew. All right, guys, just made it back. We ran into town, got another blind, uh, went and knocked on a couple doors, got permission to a few more places that we already had last year, just double checking. <laughs> Shooting a couple arrows now, making sure we're dialed, and then gonna go out and set blinds and do some more scouting. So, see you out there. Yeah, I mean, look at them. As far as you can see, they just keep fucking flying. Alright, guys, it's quite a bit later in the afternoon now, but we are. Cooking up dinner, got some tacos going. All the guys right now are going on asking for a couple permissions and kind of trying to root some birds. It's about 6.30, it doesn't get dark here until about eight, a little after. So we're gonna cook and then go out, maybe put on a blind. We weren't able to get out a blind and meet Evan's spot because there's birds in the field all afternoon. We drove by plenty of times and they're always out there. We didn't want to spook them. So hopefully 
they're gone in a little bit. We can go put it out. Otherwise, we're just going to have to do a blind in the morning and it should work. But anyway, going to get cooking a little more. We'll eat and show you guys to stump the blind if we do. Otherwise, I guess we'll see you guys in the morning. So, see what happens. going good. Went to bed last night and woke up this morning and you decided to have a little medical emergency. So we got out here a little late. We were told there's only one other guy hunting the other side of the property here. And we get up to our blind and there's a guy set up right across from us. So we came and talked to them and yeah, I mean, it's, it's what it is. They're not too happy. We aren't either. But what, what can you do? We've got some birds not far behind us that are starting to talk. So Hopefully we can get someone to come in and if we can lay one down and then hopefully maybe they can shoot one there. So, so see what happens. should seem really good on this. Well, we're packing up for the morning. Um, they were active this morning, a lot of gobbles early. Um, got in kind of late due to some things. Um, Saw some birds behind us, kind of walking out of this pasture down here. Yeah, they were just down below us there. There's a couple of jakes we saw, a couple of hens. Nothing ever came up top. And then we had about probably 10 hens come up here, make a big loop. And uh, that was about it. Yeah, pretty slow morning. We're going to go get some lunch and give her a go in the afternoon.
so I didn't really have time to even talk to you guys, but we came into the blind, we saw just one town head peeking up over the mystic meal over here, and yeah, I've been filming it all the time, not an accident, and uh, luckily he didn't see us, we came plopped down on the blind, and ended up coming over, there was a bunch of hens, we only saw one Tom, one Jake, but the Tom came close, we thought he was going to cut right in front of us here, but he went behind, he gave us like a 35 yard shot, but decided to pass on it just because we don't want to spook these birds and we think they'll be back out here in the afternoon later tonight to check back out in the field so hopefully they will come back out and we'll get another shot they're still right behind us not too far hopefully they can give us another opportunity window can you go back window but they don't know what's going on this way
Do you have a shot there? No, no. I was gonna say it's your dad. Guys, well, I was luckily able to find both zeros, and one's over here. Found a little shit. It's just third shot of the trip. Yeah. Wonder if maybe like a coyote or something drug it. If we've been here for a while, but there we go. Nice. Well, oh, guys, we're back in Wisconsin, working on editing the video, and uh, we realized we have too much footage to fit in. Uh, one video so we're gonna make two parts so this will be the closing video for video number one so thanks for watching we'll see you in part two